Howdy folks and welcome to this let's play of Planet Base, which we're currently playing as Planet Type D, or at least on Planet Type D I should say. So this is episode number 14 of our ultimate goal of this particular series. So the ultimate goal I had set for this particular series was really to be able to achieve all the milestones here. So we need to basically build a megalomania or a monolith or get the megalomania milestone achieved here. So let's just run through our charts. No, sorry, not our charts, but our grid. So in terms of power production, we are currently consuming 651 power and producing 8065, which is basically done at a full wind capacity. Water, we are basically consuming 68 versus producing 115. So I think we are in need of some additional power production facilities. Now, one of the things I always do in this game is basically collapse the, uh, the tops of the... Uh, the building so at least i can get full insight into what's going on here top right i'm just going to switch over to the view here to see exactly how many resources i got at my disposal and it looks like i will have enough resources to build an extra windmill here so let's build an extra windmill which will cost me in this instance eight oops we got a sandstorm coming in so we're not going to be able to build that yet but the idea is we should be able to build that additional Power there shortly. <clears throat> Alright, so we got additional food production and so forth that we basically completed here. We're still building some additional uh, tables here. <clears throat> or workbenches, I should really say. I think the sandstorm is over, so we can actually get rid of that alarm. <clears throat> and a trading ship has landed. <clears throat> a big one, as you can see. Exchange rate is abysmally poor. <clears throat> 65%. I keep on calling it an exchange rate. It's really a commission rate. Or commission. Right, lots of activity in this particular region here, particularly in the southern region here, which is a relatively new region to my base. Everything seems to be honky dory. Everything seems to be in order. Lots of sleeping facilities, as you can see. Storage facility there is filling up nicely. I think what I will do, I will build an extra storage facility here yet again. Be able to support everybody in this particular base. Hmm. Ah, intruders. Interesting. Let's switch over to red alert. <clears throat> intruders being killed. Intruders being killed. I think that's pretty okay. <clears throat> Can go to no alert again. Incoming transmission. A ship containing small groups of wounded soldiers is asking for help. <clears throat> yep, I think that's a good deal. So we'll give him some aid in a second. So this ship here. Do we want to buy anything? Exchange or commission? Mm, pretty poor, so let's let's just leave that as it stands. So our sick bay here is basically resolving all the sick people. And that ship of soldiers that we basically talked about. Haven't seen it come in yet. I guess that's it. No, that's a colonist ship. Or maybe because we didn't have any capacity in terms of starports, we might just have been able to get around that one. Pity. A bit of extra money is always welcome, I would say. <clears throat> So we're building up our bit of a reserve in terms of metals here again. Metals allocated to this one already. We just need to get a builder there to actually complete the building process there. And one of the things we have to build here, of course, is that monolith. And the monolith is this building here. A totally pointless symbol of achievement. Okay, there's only one single size available for that, so let's just build that with it. Double connections to single connections? No, double. Alright. <clears throat> so that requires 10 
30 metal and 10... Wow, semiconductors. Wow, okay. Impact again that we have suffered here, which luckily we don't really have much of a consequence of, just because of the fact that I've set up so many redundant connections here already. Now there are a few places, unfortunately, where that will not be possible. So that's something to bear in mind. <laughs> All these people from down here moving our materials into that particular position. The monolith. Alright, setting the actual game speed at max. Now I suspect I will have to buy some additional semiconductors. Ah, actually there is a trading ship here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to buy semiconductors, 185. So let's just buy these as quickly as we can. I know it's a pretty poor exchange rate. But uh, if it helps me towards my goal, then yeah, why not? Semiconductors. Let's see if I can maybe put some additional semiconductor production facilities in place. I've got none at my disposal over here, it looks like. I might be able to put some extra... Ooh, that one is pretty full as well. Uh, I was about to say that basically we should be able to build some extra production facilities for them. That would be done in a factory. They're saying we're out of spares. Trading ship has landed. <coughs> Offering me additional ores and so forth. Exchange rate is pretty poor again. Commission exchange rate. I keep on saying the wrong word, but okay, you know what I mean anyways. Storage facility has been built. Good. Just because that one is getting to be pretty full. And then this is a massive storage facility compared to that being a very, very large one. Alright, another trade ship has landed. Better commissions. So this one I could potentially get rid of or offload some of my excesses. Let's get rid of some of my excess in terms of starch. So let's get that to be a similar amount. Perfect. <coughs> They'll generate a bit of tra extra traffic here in terms of people wanting to dump that stuff into the uh, spaceship. He doesn't look too happy, that particular person, does he? Well, I think I always say then this, basically, you can't all be happy. Okay. Right, that monolith still needs 20 metals. Looks like I got most of the ore at my disposal to be able to get that. But just the key thing I'm lacking off at the moment is really the actual processing of that having taken place. So as you can see, we're stamping away quite nicely here at the, uh, the ores, producing metals. There's another facility here where we're producing more of those metals again as well. We just need to get the workers to actually do their job at those particular places. Monolith is still steadily coming along. We've put some more bits and bobs in there already. Just always a bit curious as to why people are walking outside just to get a drink. Armed intruder detected, so that should mean we have to switch over to red alert. All 
Alright, I think we killed them all. All the intruders, which of course means that all of our personnel that got hurt there should be heading over to sickbay. Unfortunately we had a few more intruders there which I hadn't accounted for. So we had five intruders as opposed to the usual three. Population stands at 324, which is the peak thus far, at least close to the peak thus far, because of course we have just lost a couple of people. Factory's been built, so in here I should be able to do some more processing. Okay. Odd. I do seem to have enough uh, to be able to build those components there. Let's see, can I build another storage facility here? Yeah, at least a small one I can build. But if I can build a small one, it might be better to build a multi-dome. So that should give me access to this area over here. The question is, can I actually already build that large one? Yep. And then from there I might be able to then build that airlock. Side, do I want to build it on that side? I guess. <clears throat> and from there, I also want to build another processing plant, I guess. In the meantime, can I quickly jump back home? No, there's no, no use of the home button in here. So, looking at the monolith where we stand. Well, it still needs about six metals. Mostly the key requirement here is in the uh, processors. Spares I'm still building, which is good. So let's focus on spares here as well. Incoming transmission. Yes, wounded soldiers, you are more than welcome to come and visit. Now that will basically send lots of people towards my med bay. Nine people, it looks like, will be sent into my medical bays. I've got more than enough medical supplies to be able to support them, which is good. Just missing my doctors in terms of being able to heal all of these people. I should be seeing my doctors. Yes, doctors are basically moving into here, healing these uh, soldiers. Alright, I will buy some more microprocessors if I got a colony ship, or sorry, trading ship to help me out with that. Lots of colonists coming in, so we stand at 335. We've been paid 225 for our service in heating those soldiers, which is good. So I need my semiconductors. Trading ship has landed. Let's have a look. Semiconductors, I will buy two of them, even if it's at this particular commission ratio, that's just something I will have to live with, I guess. We will basically sell them in exchange, some of our medical supplies, and I'll basically pay them the difference. Okay. Sandstorm is seen to be approaching. Which is still a little while away, so that's not a big problem. 
The monolith is still a few metals off, plus a few processors off from where we want it to be. I've got no free processors at the moment, it says, which, okay. I should have two um, that are free at the moment. This guy sells weapons amongst others. Also metals, I will buy those as well from you. And I'll just pay money for that. 165, I've got enough anyways. There we go, deal done. deal will be done once we actually complete the transaction which we won't be able to do until we first have the sandstorm itself finish the sandstorm is finished We're allowing people outside again so over there is a bar then we got a canteen a large canteen over here we just built ourselves another airlock, which is good. <clears throat> In this particular multi-dome itself, we will build ourselves a bench. We'll build a watering facility here, I guess, as well. Let's first build up a pull-up bar. Another pull-up bar, and of course a water facility. Not to forget about any of the plants that we can actually put into here if we wanted to. Let's not build that, but build a plant instead. There we go. A little bit of a R and R facility there, so to speak. That one is uh, pretty much full, so that massive storage facility will actually help out in that particular situation. Incoming transmission. Stranded travelers are asking for help. Oh yes, you're more than welcome to come to my colony here. And we're just going to quickly pay for this with money. Alright, so that gives us additional semiconductors here, which we should be able to put into this one here pretty much straight away. So I'm just prioritizing that one for the moment, so at least we can reach our goal in today's session. So that connection here is coming along nicely. Massive storage facility here. One of the things I will need to build here as well is an extra oxygen facility, which I, at the moment I do not have. second. Right there we're back. Sorry about that. Just my uh, son had woken up. So we got intruders. Yeah, we're, we're out of power because we're just not connected yet, which is all dependent upon this little connection here. Right, trading. Pretty bad commission, so I'm just going to send you away. We have still got more intruders here. They have been dealt with. And a doctor has died, unfortunately. Another person has died because of combat wounds. I think that pretty much dealt with the uh, invasion there. We're back to 343 in terms of population. Alright, where do we stand? So, Monolith, we are four away from complete. We've got two free, so at the moment we are still moving more semiconductors there.
Perfect. So that's a bit of a poor connection here. So there's oxygen flowing through it, just not in sufficient quantities yet to be able to get all of this up and running. So it's just a bit of a slow filling up with oxygen there, which actually drains this part of the base here. So getting that actually auction production facility up and running would be great. Another trading ship has landed here, and we can buy more semiconductors from them. More weapons as well, as you can see. Plus more metals. I'm always looking for more metals, which is good. Actually, in this instance, we are pretty okay in terms of metals. Uh, but I'll still buy them anyway, so I will basically trade this for some... of our medical supplies taking this number here up to 250 as well perfect so we're just going to send 10 medical supplies on board of that ship once we basically have done that we should get a few more processors in place yes i know it's low in oxygen because yeah it's, it's only slowly flowing through there so really getting that particular building out and ready should really up significantly there all right i will have to build also some extra wind production wind energy facilities here probably want to build it over here just to really capture all of those extra bits that we're looking to capture Plus, of course, extra storage capacity for that as well. Energy storage. <laughs> All right, doesn't work over there, apparently. There doesn't seem to be any particular position along that line where I could place it. There is space over here. So I'm going to build an extra bit of a facilities on this particular line. large one and a very large one we're building now that is a very large facility here now what we can do is we could potentially already build can I build an extra dorm here okay that does seem to be a possibility on some of those places let's see what else I could do here got a canteen there I believe yep a canteen there is a bar there as well what else ooh, ooh. overpopulation 350 good numbers is that really overpopulation I'm not sure could be seen as being overpopulation where are we in terms of that one here? One more microprocessor. One more to go, and then we should have reached our goal. Is that guy carrying the last one in over here? Nope. Who is carrying the last microprocessor here? It's this guy here is carrying it. It's a, not microprocessor, it's semiconductor actually. And once that's done, we should be able to start building this and get our last milestone achieved. Which is what I was really looking for over here, to be able to conclude this particular series of Planet Type D. I'm going to build an extra solar panel in the meantime as well, whilst we're waiting for that builder to come in there. Maybe another solar panel here. I think I just heard that person asphyxiate. Yes, asphyxiation has caused a death. There we go. A monolith is being built. Look at that, the underground uh, part of that. It's slowly rising up. All the materials are still lying there. So colony ship. And again, we've got intruders. So that seems to be a common theme here at the moment. Getting these intruders. So well, let's wait for the actual building to complete. Uh, I don't want anything from you guys, so perfect. Thanks. Intruders been killed. And I think we already dealt with the intruders now. Two intruders, I think, that were in this instance. 
Oop, there actually does sound like there is some further shooting. Intruder has been killed. Water extraction facility has been built here, so good. And our monolith has been... was almost complete. Almost. 84%. 98, 99, and 100. Monolith has been built, which means we have reached our achievement. Ah, <sighs> Megalomania. You have proven that you are capable of... What? Megalomania? Sweet. All right, that should be the end of this series. Thanks again for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, us achieving all of our milestones. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.